Hello gender people, Jeff here, welcome back to the channel. First thing first, uh, since it was sort of hidden in my last video, at the end I think, uh, but I have an Etsy shop from I think for a month now, uh, where I sell my little carvings. Uh, so if you want to support my channel, please, uh, in the description below, you will see the, uh, the link to it. Uh, so. That's done. Uh, today we will uh, not carve anything, uh, really, but we will talk about knives. So I got uh, two knives uh, sent by an American, I think, Car uh, Smith. Uh, and uh, their name is, well at least their knife name is uh, Focuser Carving, uh, right here. Um, and then today I just wanted to, well, check them out with you. I haven't touched them, I literally just removed them from their plastic, of their shipping plastic. And I have two knives, I have one, uh, well, detailed knife and one of these blade knife thing, <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, but it looked interesting, so I decided to take this one. And yeah, I will uh, review them with you and, uh, well, you will be able to see if you if you want to buy them. Um, so I will not talk more about the intro and we will jump straight away and look at the knife themselves and how they behave with uh, basswood. So let's get cracking. Okay, so first thing first, packaging. Um, it's really cool. This is uh, the first time I get some sort of like blade protecting uh, plastic thing. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to call them. But uh, there's a little one with this one, and then there's a full box for this. This is really cool. I kind of like it. I don't know how it's um, affecting the blade to I don't know, go wiggle wiggle with the plastic. I guess it's probably fine. Uh, so yeah, um, this part is cool. I will then remove the knives. That's a bit weird, but it works, I guess. Cool. Oh, that's a light. That's light. Wow. If I compare that to this, yeah, it's uh, okay. That's really light, and this one, uh, this is really interesting. This is so fat. This is so I don't know. I never used a knife like this, so I'm not exactly sure if it's supposed to be like that. But if someone has really small hands, I'm not exactly sure how it will behave. But it's not too bad. Both knives are really, really, really light. Like, it looks almost like paper. That's interesting. Um, huh. I don't know if we'll, you will be able to see. Yeah. I don't know if the blades were used before, but yeah, it's kind of hard for you to see, I guess. But uh, there's some marks, if you can see on the blade. So yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's fine. It looks a bit bad, but uh, I don't think it's a big, big of a problem. This is interesting also. The blade is, uh, I don't know if it's for chip carving compared to my, like, you know, you, you can see that the blade is not straight. It's kind of going down, right? So, yeah. So what's the size of that blade? An inch and a half, probably. Yep. Exactly an inch and a half. So in centimeter, it's what three centimeter, three point four, three point three point five centimeter. Not too bad, not too bad. There's some little marks on the blade. I don't think it's rust, obviously, but uh, yeah. Once again, I don't know if I can show you. You see at the top of the blade here, there's some little dark marks. So it's a. Uh, Little bit of a detail, doesn't affect anything, I would say. Blade seems uh, really straight. And they're thin, so that's good for, obviously, that's good for whittling. You don't want to have a, for what I do, I don't want to have the big Mora style. So yeah, finish, it's it's really cool, I don't know what, what is the wood, but uh, they look, they look, they look decent, they look pretty cool. Kind of like them. But what is the most important thing, right? Are they sharp? <laughs> so, I will, obviously, like I always do, take my gloves, take a piece of wood that I, I've done a lot of stuff, 
you might have seen this piece in many other videos. Uh, all right, let's start with this one. Um, it's really interesting. The blade is curved, right? So we'll see how it goes. All right, so let's go. Well, that's sharp. There's no doubt about that. No mark. Yeah, you see that it's, well, that's my glove, but yeah, straight, let's cut against the grain and see. Oh, yeah. Nice. That is sharp. Cool. Okay. Let's see if I do a little, uh, little straight. Yep. Well, no doubt about that. That's that's a sharp knife, which is uh, what we want. It's it's it, it's really interesting. It, the, this this um, straight. I don't know. It feels almost too small in my hand. Well, I could get used to that probably. The most interesting thing would be to get used to this bendy. Yeah, that's that is sharp. I don't know if like I will need to use it more obviously to see if it keeps the sharpness, but at least with what I have now, really really sharp. That is great. Well, that thing. What do I do with that? I have no idea what to do with this. This leaves a mark. Yeah, I don't know if there's something in the blade, but there are some marks when I cut. You will not be able to see probably, oh maybe. You see there's, there's a line here. So I don't know if there's a, some sort of chip in the blade, but that is sad. There's a lot of marks, in fact. I guess if you use it as a pencil to uh, do some sort of letters. This works really well. That's a nice letter T. Oh, it's, it looks really sharp. Yeah, so I'm not exactly sure if like I, I I took that knife because I was like maybe that I could be I could use it to go into a little annoying part like when I carve a shield for my little guys. So I guess I don't know maybe I will need to look at the YouTube video to know how to use these straight blade thing. But yeah, there is something in the blade somewhere that I can't see, but it leaves a lot of lines if I cut like that. Yeah, I don't know if you can see really. But yeah, there is a, there's a line here, another there, and a third here, and one in the middle. So yeah, I don't think I will ever use this knife, sadly, to uh, do stuff, because that leaves horrible mark. Well, so there's that. Well, this, this knife is amazing, I think. Uh, this one, we'll see. Uh, I could add that to my collection, but uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go back to this one. Oh, wow, well, yeah, this one. Whew. Cutting in butter. This is amazing. I really love this. Yeah. Well, I don't have to prove to talk more about the sharpness of this knife. Interestingly enough, yeah, like I said, it's really the. It looks. It feels almost too small in my hand compared to the other knives that I have. Hmm. Well. One thing that I will do now is uh, try to carve a thing 
I will uh, not make a full tutorial video out of this, that's not the point of this video. But uh, I will try to carve uh, one of my little guys and uh, probably, I don't know, I will see if I time lapse or anything. But um, yeah, let's, uh, let's see how it behaves for a full carving compared to the S Bellov knife that I have. Yeah, see you in a while. Alright, so here we are. This is the little guy that I've done today. Really fast, so there's a. It's not my best work, <laughs> but I wanted to see if the, the knives were good. Um, I have to say, pretty cool. I really like this knife. It's uh, the angle in the blade was is really interesting. Um, I don't know if it's because the knife is really sharp or if it's the angle but it was biting the wood fast when I was like there I was absolutely having no problem going absolutely against the grain at the top of the helmet here like, absolutely no problem so this is good this is really great um, yeah sadly I don't know if it's because of what I've done but it took like Five cuts, maybe, and then it was leaving little marks that we can't really see if you're not like really looking super, super closely. There's a couple that I can see, but yeah, um, could be easily fixed. But yes, um, really like this knife. Um, like I said, I will probably try to use it more. Uh, I don't know if it will keep the blade or if it will just get worse or if I should just give it a little strop. Uh, I haven't stropped it before. I literally use it straight out of the box to see if it was sharp and it is really really sharp. Um, so yeah, uh, focus your carving. Um, I will leave link in the description for their stores, uh, Instagram and everything. You should have a look. Uh, I don't know. It's, um, it's pretty cool. Um, it was fun to use. Um, different than the knife that I use uh, normally you know it's a really round blade it's not like pointy so going into the in on the other arm underarm uh, and uh, other places like this was different uh, but you know I have a flex cut knife that is pretty much the same shape uh, but it's straight and I was using it for a long time and uh, yeah it's a uh, I don't know, it's different. <laughs> I need to get used to uh, not using all the same knife over and over, right? So yeah, um, pretty cool. I like it. You should have a look at it um, yourself uh, because they're fairly cheap. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed and then uh, we will see each other in the next video. Bye-bye.